Hi, where's he up? Where's he up? Good morning guys and welcome back. Well, I'm in Region 1, Northwest District, Asakata Village. Well, this is a place I come and visit every year, but this time I brought my two sons with me to spend some time with their grandparents. So I'm out here to do a bit of fishing, but the water is really high, but I'm still going out and try. But I will give you guys a view of the village, what's going on inside here and how these people live a total different lifestyle. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's go and check out the village for us and see what it looks like. Well, from last year to now, I've seen a bit of changes. They look like they do a bit of upgrading on their landing. So that was nice cars. If they didn't did this, we would have had to be walking through the water. Look at these things here. One of this I was in just now, and trust me, it's not easy. I have to really get good balance. But the one I was in was kind of big, but a small one like that, trust me, I would flick out. <laughs> tried, uh, tried before, but I will try it again. Well, most of the people living in this village is. Arawak and Warrow, but the person I'm staying at, they came all the way from the Rupununi. So, their are uh, their family is Makushi. So, I'm with a total different tribe, but same way of life, just slight different, nothing much. Alright guys, that's a next improvement and that's nice, there's a new health center. This is the ball field where they would come up and play football, volleyball. Well, it looks like they have something going on here today. So a lot of people coming out to go to the health center and something else is taking place over there. Well, a lot of people live along this road here too. But a guy invited me to come and go out with him and hunt one day hopefully we get something but this road take you all the way to the village farms but most of the people that live in here they have their they have the personal farm and let's go and check out one for you guys all right guys well that's what the village looked like it was nice to see the little upgrade especially in the health center well i'm going down and check out a cassava farm with the people where I'm staying at so let's go and check it out and see what they do down here cause the plant up this year take a take a little time and then to rip it and this is something they must do they that's their main diet that's how they live in this village and most of them are in this in this part of the world that's how they live they depend on this year cassava Check it out and see how they are getting it out of the ground. Well, in these farms, they just don't plant cassava alone. Whatever seed 
that they can get they were just planted because they make use of everything down here where they have pumpkin they have banana well I just passed a small oh look this is a watermelon and a whole lot of other stuff like bora, okra, corailo, even pepper. Well this farm here was cleared down and they burned most of the stuff but the trees that you're seeing on the ground they don't go to waste. They would come down here, burst them up and use them as firewood. Well they have gas stove but they just prefer to use this firewood. Let's go and check out and see if we can get anything from under this tree. I'm also seeing some other things like corn, uh, tomato, and some other stuff like, uh, yeah, well, that's the okra. So, this is the palm tree I came over to. So, in this village here, they're calling this a Akiyoro, but <clears throat> we call this here Kuryu. So, trust me, it's really tasty. And they would try and come and remove this as early as possible before those other small rodents that come in from the forest come and get it. So, it's a run for this. Well, the rodent but I'll most likely win because look, look what the rodent did with did with this one so and probably that happened last night so when they fall during the night the labo paco wherever you know it as they would come out and get that well i got my shear so yeah it's really tasty things in this village in this kind of area that grow so it is more better than normal so let me go and look for this oh look at watermelon here that watermelon might look strange to you guys but trust me when you cut it and eat it it's really really sweet all right so let me go and locate the lady that picking the cassava One of the things I notice every time she pull out one, she would cut the stem and keep it. And the reason for that, they will stick it down and the growth would continue. Look at this one. This is a young one, now coming up. Same stem that they stick down. So that's what they have to keep doing because they can't run out. If they run out, it's a long drive to the landing to get other stuff. Well, in village like this, you would find mainly the women coming out and do this kind of stuff. You would hardly find the guys coming out because they would mostly go out and hunt and fish. And trust me, this is just the beginning because they have to get firewood. They have to go and get it scraped. They have to go and get it great. It's a whole long process. Well, you guys will get to see that more done in this video. So let me go and help her pull out some and then head back home. Well, we already got a few. So we can head over to the next farm, not too far from here, and we can pick some more. So let me get this one out. I think Philip can't survive in this location. Philip could survive anyway, man. Ah, what's up? 
Lefty, going in for you, young Lefty here. Oh, she right here. Ah. All right. So let me head over to the farm and fill up this basket. So I got me load to not or load veggie. See me? Like I tell you earlier, nothing goes the way it's here. That's the firewood. I will be fetching this back and she will be taking the cassava. It's a long way back. Don't worry, I gonna make it. Well, she already gone, so let me catch up. These people move really fast. All right, guys. Well, we don't have far more to reach home. Far more, my Philip. I will lamp on the watermelon and the squash. So, in a long more. House is right down there. Let me go check out these two guys and see what they're doing. They're on vacation. Two weeks. Miss, <laughs> I like the learning process. You gotta learn somehow. Good. So well, I think there's enough wood for tomorrow. Alright guys, well I uh, saw yesterday when we went into the farm and we picked the cassava and whatever we could get from the farm. Well, we I bought some firewood yesterday but today is the day. She would be great in these here. So, after she finished grating that, she will have to matapi it. I will, get to sh I will show you guys the full process. So that's stay with us. Well, I went out on a hunt. Well, we take up loads, but the experience was really nice. Well, the people them that I've been with, it they're from a different tribe. They are, they are Waro, so the outing was them, with them was great. So let's wait till she come back. Uh, she gone out and get a few stuff, and she would come back and start grating.
Well, the last time you guys see I did this, they did it with a machine where they just passing it through and it was great but the machine have a problem so it looked like Philip will have to give a helping hand soon so Philip has a great cassava living just like, just like them well like I tell you earlier we didn't get anything but a hunt but y'all don't know me already you can't go out in the lake and get fish for go with this so we can go and try tomorrow and see what we can pick up because the water is a bit high but can't give up going out and try Hold up the baby with them. Let me see. Hold up the baby, let me see. There's a good baby. Alright. Cook up on the menu. Firewood. Sausage today. No chow mini sausage today. What the peas there? Gotta get the peas too. Gotta get the peas. You don't get my coconut there? You gotta get more coconut, buddy. Mm. <clears throat> the peas are already pressure pressure on the gas stove but they prefer to cook on a fire side so I don't know okay. look more like fun the tea. probably even more tasty Aye. black eyed peas Come next, let me see you. Alright guys, well since I don't have any nearby shop, we have coconut. We don't need any drink, so we're gonna pick coconut. And that's what we can use. While we eating we cook up. So the last time I was here, this guy couldn't eat what? Alright. This guy couldn't even help himself. Now he's helping me get coconut. Take it light son. Wow, it take it long. More up, more up, more up, more up. <laughs> You're too short, boy. <laughs> ah, yeah. More up, more up, more up. Good. No, you miss. All right. Aye. Nice. One more. One more. Harder. Aye. At least they go down. All right, but well, I think we have enough coconut here. So let me go and help this lady create some cassava. Philip all wrong today. Not like this. One up, one down. One up, one down. But like one down is more fast than one. <clears throat> I tell you. Anything Philip could do. Anything Philip is doing. 
getting tired fast. <laughs> and look how much she downgrade already and she is tired. <clears throat> Alright, two fresh ones. One up, one down. One up, one down. <clears throat> Ah. Mm. Like no, one solid. One there, and then you using it. Like so. Listen here, I'll do one. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, that's like go. Come, <laughs> Bye. Water. Take your time for a great yarn. <laughs> Alright, well, just trying the thing. So, the big lady coming back and continue doing what she's doing. Guys enjoying yourself well. Normally this water's be all the way out there to the boathouse. So this is really high. This is the highest I ever seen it. Yeah, I don't go too much out to know. Play right there. The starch will settle? Yeah. So the process you guys just look at they call it matapian. What really going on there is that the cassava that they create they stuff it in there and squeeze it out as dry as possible so what remains inside they call it mealy 
and this is what it looked like. So the extract that they extract from it, the water, well it does what they call cassava water. Like in some of my videos you would see me buying that same thing. But that's what they use to make tumapat and they would pile that same as long as possible till it turned to something they call cash rip. So the small portion of cassava that she grate. We get this filled with cassava water and she leave it to settle and this is the starch that remain but the water she starting to boil it and this is what they use to make the tumapat so she would use as much as she wants and she would leave the rest to boil to turn the cash rip. Fresh cassava. Alright guys, well, let me leave them let they do the stuff and I hope you guys enjoy the short view of the making of the cassava bread. Well, tomorrow I'm going fishing and one of my subscribers re requests that uh, in my video I show you guys some of the stuff that I use when I go to fishing so I can give you guys an idea of what to buy if you are going out or if you're interested in fishing. So this is some of the stuff. I use uh, this is my ugly stick rod with my 4000 size reel and the line weight is 
30 pound you guys can use 20 to 25 pound too but if you're now starting you should try the 30 pound well the rod is an ugly stick it's seven feet it's medium action six to fifteen pound well the fish i'm going after tomorrow is same lokanani peacock bass and this is the lure i will be using the rapala xr10 well i have some other stuff too like jigs and i have some other top water lure but just in case if i saw any tarpon i have my uh rubber bait well you guys see i used these before to catch tarpon but i also have some other stuff to try out too so tomorrow when i go out in the lake i will let you guys know which one is more success successful but I will be using the Rapala XR10 most of the time. So, see you guys tomorrow in the lake. in the spot hopefully we get something nice today straight to the tumor pot from the spot to the pot I net first one Hi. Stand up, stand up. Slow down, James. Aye. Ooh. Aye. Come after me, deep net. Crazy a place to the camera. There. Nice dip, son. Nice wait, dip. Wait. All right. Huh? Right here. It, it run out from. First spot, boy. The man run. From the EVC how far this fish run from. Yeah. Yeah, the man. Oh, I cast the lure till inside there. Eh? He didn't get it properly, this way. Take out the fish out of the dip net. Monster! Bricks! This. Wow, this one a good size. You want to feel this son? You want to feel how we pull in? Look, real. Bunny bow. Jump up on the bow. Jump up on the bow. Jump up on the bow. Real. Really, son. Real. Woo. Look, this son got a fish, mommy. Woo. Ah, uh, yeah. Don't worry. Stickly boat one plays the shanks. Bring you up, son. Don't let the boat go back in the car, no? let's stay out here. Aye. Let the boat stay out, don't let go in the car, right? Take it in, take it in, right, son? Don't fall, have the bow. Don't fall, have the bow. But he coming, he coming, he coming. He coming, he coming. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Pull it, pull it. Stop, let the boat spin. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Pull it, pull it. Ay! Ah! Mm-hmm. Mommy, see you soon, catch a fish. See long. Yeah, this is a nice size one. Ay, you get in them. All the fish we catch, put your hand underneath it. Okay, come here. Put your finger, lay thumb finger, um, holy. Lay thumb finger, hold this next finger here. Good, hold it tight. 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 H
we go again. Put it on. Back out. I can feel this one. No, you can't feel this one. Your father got get this one too. Wow. This size one too. Fifteen pong line. Fifteen pong line. Same cup from Rad. Push up. Wow, we got the whole lower in the mouth. This is your eight pong size shine. Cut out. I raise you up. Raise you up. Oh, you can't even. I see. <laughs> yeah. Monster. There's the size we're looking for. I. That sure? There's it, boy. There's it. This one, eh? <clears throat> Alright, guys. Early start. Got this one just now. Now this one. And we got a other small one. So, we two more part looking good. <clears throat> Alright. You like how the fish fight? Jamal? Mm -hmm. Good, don't worry, you can catch one just so we're gonna make sure that you catch one more. Back out, Shane, back out this one. Mm -hmm. Nice size. Yeah, Why you got in the bush? Go no, stay right here, you stay right here, just stay right here. Just take the boat right here. So you got nice size. You want to get in the bush at last. I mean, this is the meal. You got a nice bump on the end. Give the um, <laughs> I'm a nice bump on the head, but yeah. yeah, let's control the boat. We got good hook. Hi, Ricky. If you didn't give me this hook here, boy, mm. this one has good pulling power, boy. See, Rex, if you didn't give me this hook, this shark here with a gun. I think I'm wrong, this shiny. This shark here with a gun. I think size, boy. Mm. Oh, I'm breaking that. <laughs> Ricky, oh, this. look at this. This one, this one is for you. <sighs> nice size, boy. This is the monster. <laughs> Alright, guys. Like I said already in my video, some of the things that we use. But you guys can see the Rapala X Rap. Pull up this monster. What is bomb size in this man head? Wow. Pliers. Alright guys, so now the action start. Rain. Rain come down. Well, this is this is the meaning of the rain forest. You never know when the rain gonna fall. Ah well, you guys see this one here just now. See the bomb size on this guy head? Mmm Monster Ricky your hook saved me by Thanks I tell you this they're right to the nicest was attract them Just one gave her a big one I want you to learn for dip fish properly dip net see you don't sleep way on the dip net there I'm bringing it to the dip net I no, this is a fish I could pull. Yeah, don't want you could pull up comfortable. Alright, as the rain done, first cast as we move out this spot. Fish. Today's a nice day though. Alright guys, well the uh, sun came out. The fish is off. Well here's tidal, so the water water drop off really low. So we can take a rest by this campground. We can eat something we can clean up this fish and then we can head back out and see if we're gonna catch any more and then head back to the village well we got what we came for so can't complain <laughs> the gorgeous scarlet 
River Carnal life. It's how we live in the River Carnal. You laugh next and I fall on. Fresh coconut water. Let's try again. No Xbox, no PlayStation. That's what outdoor life is like. Drink your coconut and relax. You can go back out on the lake just now and catch more fish. Alright guys. Tumapat, cabbage. Cabbage, tumapat. Whichever one. Anyway, we can got salt one because we don't have freezer and we don't have ice. So we can put this one in the tumapat. Don't get with cassava water and everything ready, so looking good. <clears throat> Big. this knife from a subscriber from Linden so making good use of it possible cars no freezer no ice only salt and when we're done here came back out on the lake see if we pick up two more and then head back in Back out on the lake for them. We glam for them, Jamal. A big, big local nanny there here. What is local nanny size? Big, big local nanny man run out from between this for the right there. Fishing with this one, then? Nope. No, no, the same one again. You can bite. Two tiny man go after the yard and watch him there. See this fish? Keep the boat out. Keep the boat out. Guys, uh, we battery cut out on this one here just now. And cut the whole lower. I gotta watch the hook. Not a meal. Get in there. Nice time. Nice color. Ooh. All right.
right, let me go on gas again. You cut it? What? Hold on, hold on. Is it this one? You're making you better, man. <laughs> Bring it back inside. Ay. Mm. Nice. See where he comes and snatches, right? Yeah. Uh, nice size. Right there, right there, a couple of them. Bring up Jama catch. Get it, net. Quick shard spin, don't yeah. pick up three of them. Yeah, turn. Chinga she turn? Chinga she turn? No. I can carry she for catch up. Big one. Saw the big one had you this morning? Me? Yeah. That's like going carry for catch up. Shard spin by number three. It's perfect. No, that's just don't go wrong. It, because it looked like a big ear pocket just releasing a set of leaves. See? Hush. Uh, oh. I thought it was uh, manatee. Manatee or, or the mermaid was attack you. The, mm. the lake mermaid. It's an air pocket released from under them with all them leaf man, but just don't go next to it. Right? A slight scary moment, none much. Anyway, we can cast in it just don't see if we got fish. Ah, he come off, he come off, he come off. Wow. A nap. Big one too? No, Inge, 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 it's it good. No. You remember now? <coughs> and there was this is this is the spot where we catch a big one last year. Ah, still come back and get a nice size this year. Real, 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 Take your time and feel it. Don't don't raise it right up and down. Real, 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 Keep the boat out, just keep the boat out. Feel like you got nice size, keep the boat out. Wow. Nice size boy. Alright, go out. Ah, that's a big one. Hold on, move the difference from there. Wait till you come up, wait till you come up. Now when you're fighting like that. I can tell you when for DP. Oh, what is my size? Dip. What? No. Oh. <gasps> There's a monster boy. Picture <gasps> right away, boy. Picture right away. There's a big one. Yep. Oh, big mm -hmm. one. Don't struggle. Don't struggle. <laughs> Put it down. Alright guys, well I think we can call it after uh, afternoon. We can close it close it off with this big one. Trust me, these people back at the village can glad for these. So we caught some nice one. 
you take it back to the village and clean up the rest where we already cleaned some for the tumor pot what, that I told you guys about so we can call it our afternoon and we can head back to the village trust me we really had a nice day and thanks for joining me on this one see you guys in the next video